My Josephine, come board the ship. Long time I wait for you. Gee, I'm glad someone's feeling good. I wish I was out of this dump and back in New York. Well, I'm glad Remy sail again, too. I don't see why you don't like Boston, though. You have a good time here, I think. You go ashore all the time. Every day and night, week we've been here. You go movies, see shows, all with that damn Irish fella. Oh, for heaven's sake. So you walk on that again? There's the harm and has taken me around. You think I want to sit here with you day and night in this cabin and knit? Ain't I got a right to have as good a time as I can? Ain't right kind of fun, not with that fella, no. I've been back on board every night by 11, ain't I? Say, look. What do you mean by what you just said? Nothing but what I say, huh? You said ain't right and you said it funny. Say, listen. You ain't insinuating there's anything wrong between the two of us, are you? No, I no, no, I swear. Uh, to God, I, I never think that. Well, you better never think it neither if you ever want me to speak to you again. If I ever dreamt you thought that, I'd get the hell out of this barge so quick you wouldn't see me for dust. I, I wouldn't never dream. He, he was getting more to swear. That ain't nice for, for a young girl, you think? Excuse me. You ain't used to such language, I know. See what you're taking me to see has done for me? No, ain't me. It's that damn sailor fellow learned you them bad things. He ain't a sailor, he's a stoker. Well, that was a million times worse, I tell you. Them, them fellas that worked below shoveling coal was the dirtiest rough gang of no good fellas in, all, in the world. I'd hate for Matt to hear you say that. Oh, I tell him same thing. You don't get it in your head I'm afraid of him because he's stronger than I am. You don't got fight with fists with them fellows. This other babe will fix them. What do you mean? Nothing. You better not. I wouldn't start no trouble with Matt if I was you. He might forget you was old and my father. <laughs> then you'd be out of luck. Well, you just let him try. I'm old bird maybe, but I show him trick or two, I bet you. Oh, come on. Be good. What's eating you, anyway? Don't you want anyone else to be nice to me, except yourself? Yes, I, I do. I don't know only that fella on sea. But I like for you marry a fella have good, steady land yard. But then you have little home of your own in the country. Ah, uh, cut it out, little home in the country. I wish you'd seen that little home in the country where you had me in Yale till I was 16. One of these days you're going to get me so mad, I'm going to turn loose on you and tell you some stuff that'll really open your eyes. I don't want for here. I know you don't want, but you keep on talking just the same. I don't talk no more then. Then promise me you'll cut out saying nasty things about Matt Burke every chance you get. Why? You, you like that fella very much, Anna? Yes, I certainly do. He's a regular man, no matter what his faults. One of his fingers is worth all the hundreds of men I met out there, inland. Maybe, thank you, love him then? What of it if I do? Maybe you thank you, marry him? No. If I'd met him four years ago, or even two years ago, I'd have yunked at the chance I'd tell you that straight, and I would now. Only he's such a simple guy, a big kid, and I ain't got the heart to fool him. But don't never say, he ain't good enough for me. It's me that ain't good enough for him. Why, oh, even you go out of your head, I think. Well, I've been thinking I was myself these past few days. Uh, guess I'll take a walk down to the end of the dock and see what's doing. I love to watch the ships passing. That'll be along before long. You tell him where I am, will you? All right. I tell him. Dirty old devil, you! God bless us here. 
How's the world treating you this afternoon at his father? Pretty good if it ain't for some fellas. Meaning me, do you? Well, if you ain't the funny old crunk of a man. <laughs> Where's yourself? Where's Anna I'm after asking you? She got down in the dock. I'll be going down to her then. But first I'm thinking, I'll take the chance when we're alone to have a word with you. And that word is soon said. I'm marrying your Anna before this day is out. <laughs> so you might as well make up your mind to it whether you like it or no. Oh, oh, that's easy for a say. You mean it won't? Is it the like of yourself will stop me, are you thinking? Yes, I stop it if it come to verse. God help you. But there ain't no need for me to do that, Anna. Is it Anna you think will prevent me? Yes. And I'm telling you, she'll not. She knows I'm loving her. And she loves me the same. And I know it. Oh, oh, she just have fun. She make big fool of you, that's all. That's a lie in your throat, devil man, you. It ain't lie. She told me just before she go out, she never marry a fellow like you. I'll not believe it. That's a great old liar you are. And a devil to be making a power of trouble if you hide your way. But it's not trouble I'm looking for. And me sitting down here. So let us be talking it out now as man to man. You're her father. And wouldn't it be a shame if we were at each other's throats like a pair of dogs and I married with Anna? So out with the truth, man alive. What is it you're holding against me at all? I don't want for Anna to get married. Look, you fella, I'm an old man. I don't see Anna for 15 years. She's all I got in the world. Now when you come on first trip, you think I want for her to leave me alone again? Let you not be thinking I have no heart at all for the way you'd be feeling. You do the right thing then, eh? You ship away again, forget all about Anna. Big fella like you that's on sea, he don't need right? You get a new girl every part he goes, you know that. God stiffen you. I'll not be giving you the lie on that. But that will take you. Comes a time to every man on land and sea that isn't a born fool when he's sick of the lot of them cows and wearing his heart out to meet up with a fine, decent girl. To have a home of his own and to be rearing up children in it. The small pity you're asking me to leave Anna. Now she's the one woman of the world for me. I can't live without her now, I'm thinking. You forget all about her one week out of port, I bet you. You don't know the like I am. Death itself wouldn't make me forget her. So let you not be making talk to me about leaving her. I'll not and be damned to you. It won't be so bad for you as you make out at all. She'd be living here in the States, and her married with me. And you'd be seeing her often so. A sight more often than you ever saw her the 15 years she was growing up in the West. Square, you'd be the one making great trouble about her leaving you now, when you never laid eyes on her once in all them years. Well, I thought it was better she stay away, grow up inland. Then she don't ever know that old devil sea. Uh, is it blaming your troubles on the sea you are again, God help you? Well, she knows it now. It was in her blood anyway. And I don't want for her ever no, no good fella on sea. She knows one now. That's just it. That's just what you are. No good sailor fella. You think I want you to have uh, his life be made sorry by you the way a mother's was by me? No. I swear to God. Uh, you, she don't marry you if I got kill you first. Oh, 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 glory be to God. That's bold talk you have there for a stumpy runt of a man. Well, you'll see. Yeah, I'm seeing surely. I'm seeing myself and Anna married this day, I'm telling you. <laughs> this queer as fool father you have about, oh, the sea done this and the sea done that. You ought to be ashamed to be saying the like. And you an old sailor yourself. I'm after hearing a lot of it from you. And a lot more honest told me you do be saying to her. And I'm thinking, this is a poor weak thing you are. And not a man at all. Oh, you be seeing if I'm man, maybe quicker than you think. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't be boasting. I'm thinking this out of your wits you've got to fight the sea. <laughs> You'll be wishing Anna married to a farmer, she told me. Oh, that'd be a sweet match. <laughs> Would you have a fine girl the likes of Anna lying down at night with a muddy scut stinking of pigs and dung? Or would you have her tied for life to the skinny, shriveled swabs that'd be working in cities? Uh, that's why, you fool! Yes, now, nah, it is your own mad notions and after telling. But you know the truth in your heart. And if great fear of the sea has made you a liar and coward itself, sea's the only life for a man. 
with guts in him. He isn't afraid of his own shadow. Tis only on the sea he's free. And him, roving the face of the earth and seeing all things, and not giving a damn about saving up money or stealing from his friends or any of the black tricks that a landlubber wastes on his life. Twas yourself knew it once. And you, an old bolson for years. You first crazy fool, I tell you. You've swallowed the anchor. The sea gave you a clout one, knocks you down. And you're not man enough to get up for another, but lie there for the rest of your life, howling bloody murder. Isn't it myself, the sea nearly drowned? And me, battered and bait, till I come that close to hell I could hear the flames roaring. And never a groan out of me, until the sea gave up. And it's seeing the great strength and guts of a man was in me. Yes. You're this hell of a fellow here, you tell him. You be calling me a liar once too often, me old bucko. Wasn't the whole story of it in the pictures itself in the newspapers of Boston a week back? Sure. I'd like to see you in the best of your youth do the likes of what I done in the storm and after. Tis a mad lunatic you'd be, screeching with fear this minute. You're a young fool, I tell you. In old days when I was on Vingamma, I was through hundred storms worse than that. Ships? But ships then, and men that sailed on them was real men. What you got on steamers now? You got fellas on deck, don't know ship from Mudscow. And below, you got fellas only know for shovel coal. Might as well work on coal wagon ashore. Is it costing insults at the men of the stock hole you are, you old ape? Got to stiffen you. Any one of them is worth any ten stockfish swilling squareheads ever shipped on a windbag. Irish find you! <laughs> Don't you like the Irish, you old baboon? It's just that you're needing in your family, I'm telling you. An Irishman and a man of the stock hole. Put guts in it! So you wouldn't be having grandchildren be fearful cowards and jackasses uh, the like of yourself. You look out! Just that you'll be having no matter what you do to prevent. For Anna and me be wedded this day. And no old fool the like of you will stop us when I made up my mind. You don't! Old man is getting child you shouldn't have played with knives. I'll put in mind to hit you a great clout and knock sense in your square head. Keep off me now, I'm warning you! Don't be coming at me again, I'm saying. Or I'll flatten you on the floor with a blow. If it is Anna's father you are itself, I have no patience left for you! It's a bold old man you are all the same. I never thought you had it in you to come tackling me alone. Hello, Matt. Are you here already? I was down. What's up? How'd that chair get knocked over? Oh, Matt. You ain't been fighting with him after you promised. I've never laid a hand on him. I'll let you not be worried at all. There's only a bit of an argument we was having to pass the time until you come. Must have been some argument when you got to throwing chairs. Why don't you say something? What was it all about? Oh, we were talking about ships and, and fellas on sea. Oh, the old stuff, eh? <laughs> He's not after telling you the whole of it. We were arguing about you, mostly. About me? And we'll be fish finishing it out right here and now in your presence. Sure. Well, if you're willing. Tell me what it's all about. No, no, no you don't do that. You, you tell him you don't want to hear him talk, Anna. But I do. I want this cleared up. Well, not now, anyway. You, you was going to show you. You ain't got time. Yes, right here and now. You tell me, Matt, if you don't want to. The whole of it's in a few words only, and well, so he'd make no mistake. And him hating the sight of me, I told him in his teeth that I loved you. <laughs> That's God's truth, Anna, and you know it. Yeah, oh, oh, he, he just. He tells the same thing to girl, every boy to go. Shut up, can't you? I know it's true, Matt. I don't mind what he says. Oh, God bless you. Then what? And then, uh, and then I said, uh, I said I was sure. Uh, I told him I thought you might have a bit of love for me, too. Oh. Well, see, you do, Anna. Let, let you not destroy me entirely for the love of God. So? told him that, did you? No wonder he was mad. Well, maybe I do. Maybe it's true. I've been thinking and thinking I didn't want to, Matt. I'll own up to that. Tried to cut it out, but I guess I couldn't help myself anyway. So I guess I do. Sure I do. 
Sure, I love you, Matt. I love you, praise. <laughs> and I ain't never loved a man before in my life. You can always believe that, no matter what. Oh, sure, I do believe every word you ever said to me, and ever will say to me. <laughs> and it'll be me and you having a grand, beautiful life for the rest of our days. you in a second for more of the same. So, me old bucko, what should you be saying? You heard the words from her own lips. Confess up, bait you. Own up like a man when you bait fair and square. And here's my hand to you. And let you take it and we'll shake and we'll forget what's over and done and we'll be friends from this day on. I don't shake hands with you, fella, not while I live. Back of my hand to you then, if that suits you better. Just a rotten bad loser you are, devil men you. I don't lose. Honest say she like you a little bit, but you don't hear her say she marry you, I bet. No, and I didn't hear her say that the sun was shining either. That's all right. She don't say it just the same. No, I didn't say it, Matt. There, you hear? You mean you're waiting till you do be asked? Well, I'm asking you now, <laughs> and we'll be wedded with the help of God. You heard what I said after I kissed you, Matt. No, I just remember. I said goodbye. That kiss was for goodbye. What do you mean? I can't marry you, Matt, and we've said goodbye, and that's all. I know it! I know that was so! <laughs> Hannah, is it making game of me, you be? Just a queer chant to joke with me, and don't be doing it for the love of God. You think I kid you now, Matt? I ain't joking. I mean what I said. You don't. You can't. Tis mad you are, I'm telling you. No, I'm not. But what's come over you so sudden? You, you were saying you loved me just a minute ago, and then you just... I'll say that as often as you want me to. It's true. But why? What in the devil's name? Oh, God. I can't make head or tail to it at all. Because it was the best way out I could figure. I've been thinking and thinking it over day and night all week. Oh, Matt, don't think it ain't hard on me, too. For the love of God, tell me then, what is it preventing you from wedding when the two of us has love? Is it giving heed to the likes of the old fool you are? Or him filling your ears full of bloody lies against me? Uh, yes. You believe me, not you? You know her old father don't lie like you. You sit down, do you hear? Where do you come in? Buttoning in and making things worse. You're like a devil, you are. Good Lord, and I was beginning to like you and beginning to forget all I had held up against you. You ain't got nothing for hold against me, Anna. Ain't I? Just let me tell you. Say, Matt, I'm surprised at you. You didn't think anything he'd say. Sure, what else would it be? Think I'd ever paid any attention to his crazy bulgy. <laughs> you must take me for a five-year-old kid. I don't know how to take it. What do you say in this one minute and in that the next? Well, he has nothing to do with it. Then what is it has? Tell me, and don't keep me waiting and sweating blood. I can't tell you, and I won't. I've got a good reason, and that's all you need to know. So for God's sake, let's talk about something else. I'll not. Is it married to someone else he'd be? In the West, maybe. I should say not. <gasps> The devil will do all the other reasons, and they don't matter to me at all. I'm thinking you're the like of them women that can't make up their mind until they drove to it. Well then, I'll make your mind up for you bloody quick. Now we had enough of talk. You're going to be going into your room, you're going to be dressing in your best, and we're going to be going ashore. No, by God, she don't do that! Say, where do you get that stuff? Never mind. Hurry up with your dressing. We'll see who went in there, me or you. Anna, you stay there, you hear? She'll not. She'll do what I say. You've had your hold on it long enough. It's my turn now. Huh? Your turn? Say, what am I, anyway? That's not what you are. It's what you're going to be this day out. And that's waiting to me before night comes. Now hurry up with your dressing. Anna, you don't do one thing he say. She will so. She don't. I'm her father. She will in spite of you. She's taking orders from me this out, not yours. Orders is good? Hurry up, shake a leg. We've no time to be wasting. You hear what I'm saying? Honey, you stay there. 
You can go to hell, the both of ya! Well, you just like all the rest of them, you two. God, you think I was a piece of furniture! Well, I'll show you. Sit down now. Sit down! And let me talk for a minute. You're all wrong, see? Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something and then I'm going to beat it. I'm going to tell you a funny story. So, pay attention. I've been meaning to turn it loose on him every chance I talks about that bull about his keeping me safe inland. I wasn't going to tell you, but you forced me into it. What's the diff? It's all wrong anyway. Might as well learn that way as any other. But don't forget what you said a minute ago about it not mattering to you what other reason I got so long as I wasn't married to nobody else. It's my word, and I'll stick to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, wanna bet? You make me laugh, honest. <laughs> well, wait and see. First thing is, you two guys was talking like one of you got to own me. But nobody owns me, see, except for myself. I'll do what I please, and no man, I don't give a hoot who he is, can tell me what to do. I ain't asking either one of you for a living. Huh. I can make it myself one way or other. So, I'm my own boss. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. You and your orders. I wasn't meaning to say that at all. Well, you know it. You've no right to be raising this rumpus with me. Tis him you have a right to be raising I'm the rumpus with. I'm coming to him. But you did mean it that way, too. You sounded like all the rest of them. But damn it, shut up! And let me talk for a change. That's queer rough talk you have there for, for a decent girl to like you. Decent? Who told you I was? Don't go to sleep, old man. Listen here. I'm talking to you now. Uh, you don't talk that way. You was going out of your head, I think. Well, living with you would drive anyone off their nut. You were bump about the farm being so fine. Didn't I write you year after year how rotten it was and what a dirty slave them cousins made of me? What did you care? Nothing. Not enough even to come out and see me. You're a crazy bull about keeping me away from the sea. Don't go down with me. You just didn't want to be bothered with me. You're like all the rest I of them. It ain't so. But one thing I never wrote you. It was one of them cousins that you think is such nice people. The youngest son, Paul who started me wrong. And it was none of my fault. I hated him like hell, and he knew it. But he was big and strong like you. Oh, no. God bless it. That was what made me run away from the farm. That was what made me get a job as a nurse girl in St. Paul. And you think that was a nice job for a young girl with all the nice inland fellas just waiting for a chance to marry me? Marry me? Ha! What a chance. They wasn't looking for marrying. I'm owning up to everything fair and square now. I was caged and I tell you, just like in Yale, taking care of other people's kids, listening to them bawling and crying day and night when I wanted to be out. And I was lonesome, lonesome as hell. So I give up hope. What was the use? You don't say nothing, neither of you. But I know what you're thinking. You're like all the rest. And who's to blame for it, me or you? If you'd even acted like a man, if you'd even been a regular father and kept me with you, maybe things would be different. Don't talk that way, I go crazy. I won't listen. You will too listen. You, keeping me safe inland. 
I was a nurse girl the last two years. I lied when I wrote you. I was in a house, that's what. Yes, that kind of a house. The kind sailors like you and Matt goes to when you're in port. And all them nice inland fellers too. And all men, God damn them, God damn them, I hate them. Anna, Anna, it's a lie, it's a lie. So that's what it says. I suppose you remember your promise, Matt. Nothing was to count with you so long as I wasn't <clears throat> married already. So I guess you'd want me to get dressed and go ashore and... Yes, you do. God stiffen you. I suppose if I tried to tell you I wasn't that no more. You'd believe me, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. And if I told you that just getting on this barge and being on the sea had changed me, made me feel different about things. If all I'd been through wasn't me and didn't count. It's just like it never happened. You'd laugh, wouldn't you? And you'd die laughing, sure, if I told you that just meeting you that funny way that night in the fog and afterwards seeing that you were straight good stuck on me got me to thinking. And that was why I got stuck on you, too. I sized you up as a different kind of man, a sea man. As different from the ones on land as water is from mud. And I wanted to marry you and fool you, but I couldn't. Don't you see how I changed? I couldn't marry with you, believing a lie. And I was shamed to tell you the truth till you forced my hand. And I seen you as the same as all the rest. And now, give me a bawling out and beat it, like I know you're going to. Oh, ma. Won't you believe it if I tell you that, yes, loving you has made me clean. It's straight goods, honest. Like hell you will. You're like off the rest. The rest is it. God's curse on you! Clean is it! You slut you! I'll be killing you now! Stop, you crazy fool, you vote for murder! Oh, you keep out of this, you! Ain't you got the nerve to do it? Go ahead. I'll be thankful to you. I'm sick of the whole game. I can't do it. God help me. And your two eyes looking right at me. Though I do be thinking, I don't mind to smash your skull like a rotten egg. If ever there was a woman in the world had the rottenness in her that you have. If ever there was a man in the world the likes of me, made fool of the world! And me, thinking thoughts about you, and having dreams about you. Dreaming dreams of the fine life we'd be having together when we was wedded. Yeah. God help me. I'm destroyed entirely. And my heart is broken in bits and pieces. I'm asking God himself, was it for this? He'd had me roll with the face of the earth since I was a lad. Only to come to black shame in the end. And to be given a power of love to a woman who's the same as any other you'd meet in any hooker shanty in port. With red gowns on them. And paint on their grinning mugs. 
Sleeping with any man that they could for a dollar or two! No, oh, I'm not for God's sake, the old way! Leave me alone, go away. I'll go away, surely. And I'll be drinking slews of whiskey to wash that black kiss of yours off my lips. And I'll be getting dead rotten drunk, so I'll never remember if ever it was you was ever born. I'll be shipping away on some boat that'll take me to the other side of the world where I'll never see a face again. No, you don't go. I, I think it, maybe it's better I don't marry you now. Keep off me, you old ape! Marry her, is it? I'd see her roasting in hell first. God's curse on you! The curse of God Almighty and all his saints! I'm destroyed entirely this day! May you lie awake on long nights, tortured with the thoughts of Matt Burke and the great wrong he'd done them. Oh, Matt! Oh. 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 I think I, I go ashore, too. No, not after him. Let him go, don't you dare. I go for get drink. So, I'm driving you to drink too, I suppose. You want to get drunk so you can forget like him. Yes, I, I want to forget. You think I like you them things? I, I think you wasn't that kind of girl, Anna. I suppose you want me to beat it. You don't want me here disgracing you. No. You stay here. It, it ain't your fault. I, I, I know that. It, it's that old devil's sea do this to me with the dirty tricks. I mean, it was all right on by just us two. Then she make that Irish fella come in frog. She make you like him. She make you fight with me all the time. If you don't ever come out, you don't ever tell me them things, I don't never know, and everything's okay. Damn, devil! Oh, what's the use? Go on ashore and get drunk. You wait here, Connor? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get drunk, too, or maybe I'll... Oh, what the hell do you care? Go on and beat it. Come in. Come in. It's foggy. So, you come back at last, did you? You're a fine looking sight. I thought you'd beaten it for good on account of the disgrace I brought on you. Don't say that on it, please. What's the trouble? Feeling sick? Inside my head feels sick. Well, what do you expect after being soused for two days? <laughs> Serves you right. Fine thing you're leaving me all alone on this barge all that time. I'm sorry, Anna. But... <sighs> sorry. Uh, I'm not sick inside my head, Bray, you mean. I'm, I'm sick. Don't think too much about you, about me. How about me? Don't you think I've been thinking too? I'm sorry, Anna. You, you pack your bag, you was going? Yes. I was going right back to what you think. Anna! I went ashore this afternoon. I was going to get a train for New York. I've been reading here, waiting here till I couldn't stand it anymore. And then I changed my mind and decided not to go today. But I'll go tomorrow morning, first thing. Yes. So it'll all be the same in the end. No, you don't never do that. Why not? I'd like to know. 
You don't never got to do Bob Ray no more. I, I fixed that up all right. Fixed foot up. You said you was waiting. You, you were, wasn't waiting for me, I bet. You did. For that Irish fellow. Yes, if you'd like to know. He did come back, it would only be because he wanted to beat me up or kill me, I suppose. Even if he did, I'd rather he'd come than not show up at all. I wouldn't care what he did. I guess it's true. You was in love with him, all right. I <laughs> guess. And I'm sorry if you like hell, you don't come, Anna. Well, it seems to me you've changed your tune quite a lot. Well, I've, I've been thinking, and I think it's it's all my fault all bad things happen to you. I, you try for not hate me, Anna. I'm just, I'm crazy old fool, that's all. Oh, who said I hated you? And I'm sorry for all bad things I do for you. I want you to be happy all the rest of your life to make up. If it make you happy, marry that Irish fella. I want the two. Well, there ain't no chance, but I'm glad you think different about it anyway. And uh, you think maybe you forgive me sometime? I forgive you right now. Oh, no, me. <laughs> Don't fall about it. <laughs> Nothing to forgive. It ain't your fault. It ain't mine. It ain't his neither. Mm -hmm. We're just poor nuts and things happen. And we get mixed in wrong, that's all. You say right thing, Anna, by golly. It ain't nobody's fault. It's that old devil say. <laughs> Gee, won't you never can that stuff? Say, listen. You said a minute ago... You had fixed something up about me. What was it? I'm shipping away on sea again, Anna. You're what? I uh, sign on steamer, sail tomorrow. I got my old yacht, bosun. That's the best thing for you, I think. I, I make your, your mother's life sorry. I don't want to make yours the same way, but, but I do the same way anyway. And, and, uh, and that old devil make me yonder man. Ain't no good for nobody. And, and now I think it... No good fight with her. No man alive is going to beat her by golly. So, that's how you fixed me, is it? Well, I think if she get me back, she leave you alone then. For God's sakes, that's what you've always done. Can't you see? Oh, what's the use of talking? You ain't right, that's what. I'll never blame you for nothing, no more. But how could you figure out that that was fixing me. Well, that ain't all. I got them fellas in steamship office pay you all money come to you, coming to me every month while I'm away. Thanks. But I don't think I'll be hard up for no small change. Oh, it ain't much, I know. But, but it's enough to keep you so you don't never got to go back. Oh, shut up, can't you? We'll talk about that later, see? You want me to uh, go ashore and look for that Irish fella? Not much. You think I want to drag him back? My golly. That boost won't go well. Give me fever, I, I think. I, I feel hot like hell. What are you in your pocket, for Pete's sake? A ton of lead? A gun? What was you doing with this? Oh, I ain't nothing. I forgot. Ain't nothing. It, it, it ain't loaded anyway. That ain't telling me why you got it. I'm crazy, old fool. I get it when I go ashore first. I think then it's all fault of that Irish fella. You're crazier than I thought. I never dreamt you'd go that far. I don't. I get better sense right away. I don't buy bullets even. It's not his fault. I, I know. Well... I'll keep this for a while, loaded or not. Throw it overboard if you want. I, I, I don't care. I, by golly, that booze make me feel sick. I, I think I better go lie down. We we'll talk again before I go, honey, yes? Where's this ship going to? Cape Town. That, that's in South Africa. Uh, it's a British steamer called London Derry. Anna, you, you forgive me, sure? Sure I do. 
You ain't to blame. You're just what you are, like me. <laughs> and you, you think you let me kiss you again once? Sure. No hard feelings. Oh, no, really. Oh, really. I, I, uh, I can't say. I, good night, Alan. Good night. can't stand this much longer. What am I waiting for anyway? Like a damn fool. Matt? Let you not be hiding from me, whoever's here. Thought as well you know I have a right to come back and murder you. There's no one here, I'm thinking. Just a great fool I am to be coming. You're up, Matt Burke. Just a great jackass you've become. What's got into you at all at all? She got out of this long ago, I'm telling you. You never see her face again. What's this? It's hers. She's not gone, but where is she? You sure? What would you be doing ashore on this rotten night? Just thought, is it? Oh, God, curse on her. I'll wait till she comes. Choke her dirty life out. What are you doing oh, here? Glory be to God. Well, can't you talk? <sighs> you have a year's growth scared out of me coming at me so sudden, and me thinking I was alone. You got your nerve button in here without knocking or nothing. What do you want? Nothing much. I was just wanting to have a last word with you, that's all. Careful now. Don't try coming too close. I heard what you said you'd do to me. Is it murdering me now, you'd be? Or is it thinking I'd be frightened by that old tin whistle? Look out, I tell you. Let you shoot, then. Let you shoot, I'm saying, and be done with it. Let you end me with the shot. I'll be thanking you. But this is a rotten dog's life and live the past two days since I know what you are. And I'm after wishing I was never born at all. What do you want coming here? Why don't you beat it? Go on. Just right you are to be asking why I come. It's because this is a great, weak fool of the world I am. And me, tormented with the wickedness you told to yourself. Drinking oceans of booze that would make me forget. Forget? Give a word do I forget. And your face. Grinning always in front of my eyes, awake or asleep, till I do be thinking a madhouse is the proper place for me. You look like you want to be put away someplace. Wonder you wasn't pulled in. <sighs> You've been scrapping too. I have, with every scut would take his coat off to me. And each time I'd be hitting me one a clout in the mug. It wasn't his face I'd be seeing at all, but yours. And me wanting to drive you blow with knock you out of this world. Well, I wouldn't be seeing or thinking bar of you. Thanks. That's right, make game of me. <laughs> I'm a great coward, Julie, to be coming back to speak with you at all. You have a right to laugh at me. I ain't laughing, Matt. You to be what you are, and me to be Matt Burke, and me to be drove back to look at you again. This black shame is on me. Well, then get out. No one's holding you. And me to listen to that talk from a woman like you, and be frightened to close her mouth with a slap. Ah, oh, God help me. I'm a yellow coward for all that to spit at! But I'll not be getting out of this till I had the word. And let you look at how you drive me! <laughs> Don't be angry now. I'm raving like a real lunatic, I'm thinking. And the sorrow you put on me has my brains drowned in grief. Tell me it's a lie I'm saying. That's what I'm coming after to hear you say. A lie? What? All the badness you told me two days back. Sure, <laughs> it, it must be a lie. You was only making game with me, wasn't you? Tell me it was a lie, Anna. And I'll be saying prayers of thanks on my two knees to the God Almighty. I can't, Matt. Oh, Matt, won't you see that no matter what I was, I ain't that no more? I listen. I packed my bag this afternoon and went ashore. I... 
bought the ticket and everything. I've been waiting here all alone for the last two days, thinking maybe you'd come back. Maybe you'd think over all I'd said, and maybe you... Oh, I don't know what I thought. That I was afraid to leave this cabin for even a second, afraid that you might come back and not find me here. Then I gave up hope when you didn't come. Oh, Matt. Can't you see that I've changed? And forget it? Forget is it? I'll not forget till my dying day, I'm telling you. And me, tormented with thoughts? Oh, I'm wishing I had one of them in front of me this minute. I'd beat him with my fist till he'd be a bloody corpse. I'm wishing the whole lot of them would roast in hell to the judgment day. And yourself along with them. For you're as bad as they are. What? Well, had your say. Now you better beat it. And what you be doing? What difference does it make to you? I'm asking you. I packed my bag, I bought my ticket. I'll go to New York tomorrow. If you mean you'll be doing the same again? Yes. You'll not. Don't torment me with that talk. This is she devil you are sent to drive me mad entirely. Oh, for God's sakes, Matt, leave me alone. Go away. Can't you see I'm licked? Why do you want to keep on kicking me? Don't you deserve the worst of what I'm saying, God All forgive All right, you. maybe I do. But don't rub it in. Why ain't you done what you said you was going to do? Why ain't you got that ship was going to the other side of the earth where you'd never see me again? I have. What? You mean it? Honest? I signed on today at noon, as drunk as I was. And she's sailing tomorrow. Where's she sailing to? Cape Town. Cape Town? Where's that? Far away? It's at the end of Africa. It's far for you. Well, you're keeping your word, ain't you? What's the boat's name? The London Dairy. London Dairy? It's the same. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> What's up with you now? It's funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, I'll stop laughing. Laughing at what? <laughs> it's a secret. Oh, you'll know soon enough. Oh, what kind of a place is this Cape Town? Plenty of dames there, I suppose. To hell with them. That I'd ever see another woman to my dying hour. Ah, that's what you say <laughs> now. But I bet by the time you get there, You'll have forgot all about me, and you'll start in talking the same bull you talk to me to the first girl you meet. Oh, not then. God, mend you. Is it making me out to be the likes of yourself you are? But you're taking up with this one and that one all the years of your life? Yes, that is just what I do mean. You've been doing the same thing all your life. Picking up a new girl at every port. How is that any better than what I was? Is it no shame you have at all? I'm a fool to be wasting talk on you. And you hardened in badness? I'll go away from this and leave you alone forever. And I suppose it was the same lies you told them all before that you told to me? That's a lie I never did. You'd be saying that anyway. Are you accusing me of being in love, really in love with them? I'm thinking you were, surely. You might, you. I stood enough from you, don't you dare. Love him! Oh my God, you damn thickhead, love him. I hated him, hated him. And may God strike me dead. And my mother too, if she was alive, if I ain't telling you the honest truth. If I could only be believing you now. Oh, what's the use? What's the use of talking? What's the use of anything? Oh, Matt, you mustn't think that. Not even for a second, you mustn't. Think all the other bad about me you want to. And I'll not kick because you have got a right to. Don't think that. I just couldn't bear it. It would be just too much to know that you was going away where I'd never see you again. 
thinking that about me. If I was believing, you never had love for any other man in the world for me. I could be forgetting the rest. Maybe. <laughs> if it's the truth you're after telling, I'd have a right then to believe that you changed. And that I'd change you myself. For the thing that you had been all your life wouldn't be you anymore at all. Oh, Matt, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. For the power of strength in me to lead men the way I want, and women too, maybe. And I'm thinking I could change you to a whole new woman entirely. For I'd never know, or you either, what kind of a woman you'd been in the past at all. Yes, you could. I know you could. And I'm thinking, maybe it wasn't your fault either, but having that old late for a father that left you alone <laughs> to grow up and then you made you what you was, and I'm thinking, if I could only be believing that it would be... Oh, you have to believe it, Matt. What can I do? I'll do anything, a anything you want to prove I'm not lying. Would you be willing to swear an oath now? A terrible, fearful oath that would send your soul to the devils in hell if you was lying. Sure, I'll swear on anything. Would you swear on this? Yes, sure I will. Give it to me. It's a cross given to me by my mother, God rest her soul. She told me to keep it by me, sleeping or awake. And it'd bring me great luck. She died soon after. But I'm after keeping it with me from that day to this. And I'm telling you, there's great luck in it. Great power. And it saved me from, and me roaming the seas and I have it tied around my neck. And it bringing me safe to land when the others went to their death. And I'm warning you now, if you swear an oath on this, it's just my old woman herself will be looking down from heaven above and praying to God Almighty and all the saints to put a great curse on you if she were to hear you swearing a lie. Well, I wouldn't have the nerve, honest, if it was a lie. But it's the truth and I ain't scared to swear. Be careful what you swear, I'm saying. Well, what do you want me to swear? You say it. Swear I'm the only man in the world. You ever felt love for? I swear it. And that you'll be forgetting from this day on all the bad you've done. And never do the like of it again. I swear it. I swear it to God. And may the blackest curse of God strike you if you're lying. Say it now. May the blackest curse of God strike me if I'm lying now. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> well, I'm after believing you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? It's a Catholic you are. No, why? Oh, God help me. Well, there's some devil trickery to it if you're swearing an oath on a Catholic cross and you're one of the others. Oh, Matt, don't you believe me? Well, if you're not Catholic, then what would you be? I ain't nothing. What's the difference? You heard me swear, didn't you? Well, I'd have a right to stay away from you then, but I couldn't. I was loving you in spite of it all and wanting to be with you, no matter what you were. I'd go mad if I not have you. I'd be killing the world! <laughs> if your oath is no proper oath at all, I'll have to be taking your naked word for you and having you anyway. I'm thinking I'm needing you that bad. Oh, Matt, I swore, didn't I? Yeah. Oath or no oath, we'll be wedded in the morning with the help of God. And we'll be happy now, the two of us, <laughs> in spite of the devil. <laughs> we have drink on this, by golly. God's stiff in it. That's the way to talk. Say, isn't it about time that you and Matt kiss and make up? You're going to be shipmates on the Londonderry. Did you know it? Shipmates? Oh, as himself no, ever? Ah, oh, to devil. You'll be going to see him and leave it alone, won't you? Oh, it's going uh, right, Matt. That's where he belongs and I want him to go. You've got to go too. We'll need the money. And as for me being alone, well, it runs in the family and I'll get used to it. I'll buy a little house somewhere and make a regular place for the two of you to come to. You wait and see. And now, drink up and be friends. Well, sure. 
Here's luck to you. Skull. You nubby lonesome long. This himself here have the grandchild to ride on his foot before he can go. Oh, could you stall? Quick, you're kidding me. Uh, is it any religion you have at all, you and your honor? Why, well, yes, he was uh, Lutheran in old country. Luther's, is it? <laughs> well, I'm damn surely. <laughs> What's the difference? at the will of God anywhere, right? Hmm. It's funny. It, it's queer you and me shipping on the same boat that way. It ain't right. It's that funny way that old devil C has of doing a verse 30 tricks. It, yes, it's so. Yeah, I'm fearing you have the right to do one devil in you. Gee, Matt, you're in agreeing with him, are you? Oh, come on. What's the matter? Cut the gloom. We're all fixed now, ain't we, you and me? Come on, here's to the sea, no matter what. Let's drink to that. Fog, 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 all bloody time. You can't see where he was going. Only that old devil's sea. She knows.